I wanted to share with you some thoughts around working with fear, anxiety and overwhelm and those everyday things that you have going on and that can often keep you awake at three o'clock in the morning. Um, and these fears, anxieties and worries and concerns are completely valid. They're there to protect you, to look after you. They're there to try and support you so that you can keep yourself safe. And that safety might be an emotional safety as well as a physical safety. So they're really valid. It's a really valid protection mechanism. But often what can end up happening, I think especially nowadays, what can end up happening is we can try and um, feel that if we think about those fears that we are doing something bad and um, that's a bad thing to think about these things that we can dwell on them that um, it's it's not productive there's no point in thinking about it because it's not going to get any better um, or you just need to think positively you just need to get over it you just need to reframe it you just need to get get on with it and yes, some of those tools can be really helpful to think about it and, and to help you to function in an everyday life. But I just want you to think about this analogy. So if you think about all those fears that you're suppressing and they're here like a big, huge, massive beach ball and you're suppressing this beach ball, um, this beach ball down. And for a long time, you can keep the water very, very, very still. And you can have this stillness and this feeling of peace even though you've got all the stuff underneath churning away and going round and round and round. So, but if you keep pushing that down and keep suppressing those things, ignoring them, wishing them away, and the more you push down with those, then the more likely they're going to erupt in a way that you have got no control over. So if you imagine that beach ball is going to come out and it's going to come out in a way over here and it can come out in bits of rage about something, anger, frustration, resentment, um, tears, all sorts of all sorts of um all sorts of ways that we've got no control over. So there's different approaches that you can use to work with them. Um, obviously ideally talking therapy would be brilliant. Obviously I practice emotional freedom technique and I think that that's a really helpful tool, particularly with those fears and anxieties and especially if there's a bodily element attached to them. So if you've got those knots in your stomach or those tightness in your throat or those sort of feelings. But there's lots of other ways as well that we can manage them. Um, I personally find journaling really, really helpful. So spending time journaling and um, working with those feelings like why am I feeling like this what is there is there like an element of like shame humiliation embarrassment frustration feeling like I failed you know why is it that I feel like this so journaling down all those sorts trying to unpick it and trying to really um, get to the source of those sort of feelings you know and, and quite often once you've done that it's like this like huge sense of release once, once you've done that and and um it's like a, we, we did a book just now and it's talking about becoming like an emotional scientist so really working out why it's there and is there like a pattern to that and journaling can give you such a brilliant space to allow you to do that another approach which I really like is an approach that I heard from Mo Goddard um, on Elizabeth Day's How to Feel podcast and he's a conversation with his brain every day so his brain's called Becky and he gives Becky like 25 minutes every day where she can tell him all of the things that she's worried about so Becky's his brain so um so and the rules are that she can only tell him something once and the um and after that she's not to tell him again so and so Becky tells him something, he says, Oh thanks very much, Becky, that's fine, I've heard you. I've heard you, what next? And that's really helpful as well because I think there there's something there about really recognising that and recognising that there's something going on and that it's worrying you for whatever reason. So um another approach which a lot of people use is like mindfulness to let feelings come and let them go, and that can be really, really helpful as well. There's loads of other tools and techniques that you can use. Um, writing everything down in bits of paper and then burning them. I really like doing that. Um, writing a letter to yourself um, can be really helpful. Writing a letter to yourself in the future can be a really great thing. So like in a year's time, like how am I going to feel about what's happening right now? So write yourself and say, I'm really proud of how you manage that situation. I'm really proud about how you took direction with that. I'm really proud about how you um, really... Um, 
sort of really recognise what was going on and managed to support yourself. So there's lots of different tools and techniques that you can use that are out there. So if you'd like to know any more or you'd like some support with whatever's happening right now, then do get in touch. I work specifically with women around fertility, pregnancy, birth and motherhood. Um, specifically people who are very fearful or anxious around birth or they've got specific concerns that they'd like support with. Maybe um, maybe people who are feeling very anxious in their pregnancy, maybe feel like people, people have had really difficult birth or prenatal experiences um, and I work with with mums who are really struggling as mums, maybe they feel very overwhelmed, maybe they feel very fed up, whatever it is that they're feeling, I really work with them to help them to feel much calmer, much more confident, much more happier, and to let go of all that stuff that's happening and to release everything that's in that ball so it doesn't come out in the way that they've got no control over. So I hope that that's helpful. Do get in touch if you think I can help you. Take care. Bye.